Hi everybody, this is Nandini this side. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I will be talking about Kaushik acid powder uh, or basically normal Kaushik acid. So I will be dividing this video into two parts. First part would be how you should use it, what effects does it have on our skin, what benefits does it give to our skin and the precautions. And in the second part, I will be teaching you how to activate it and form a lotion so that we can use it on our skin every day. So let's get started. Okay, so before starting, I want to give some disclaimers. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just a person who reads a lot about skin and who experiments a lot with skincare. I'm a skincare enthusiast. So I'm not a dermatologist. Second thing, you have to use it on your own risks. Although I will be mentioning all the precautions and side effects in the video. So please watch the full video because you will be getting a lot of uh, information about how much you should use it and how you should use it. And third thing, anything which happens to your skin is not my responsibility. So let's get started. Please do not miss any points and I will make it super quick and super informative and super crisp. Uric acid is basically an ingredient which helps in reduction of melanin production. So melanin is a thing in our skin that is responsible for the pigmentation of our skin. It gives color to our eyes, to our hair, to our freckles are pigmentation everything so what kojic acid does it it reduces the production of melanin so that our skin naturally starts lightening that's the reason it also it also helps with our tanning it also helps the skin glow and when i say glow it really really helps the skin illuminate like anything uh, i've been using it for like two weeks now and if you're somebody who's looking for uh, light skin lightening such as lightening of the spots, pigmentation, freckles, tanning, any such things on your face. So Kojic Acid is the way to go. Uh, I bought this from Amazon. I will be trying to leave the link in the description below so you can just check it out. Okay, so now I will be talking about how to activate it. What I did was I have um, three scoops. I got these in a skincare kit. I will be leaving its link also. So I took four big scoops of aloe vera gel, added it in a mixing bowl and I took half scoop of the smallest one, took my caustic acid powder in this one and then I mixed it and then I got this. Okay, so my aloe vera gel was super transparent, had a very light green pigment in it uh, and this was it. I do have a bit of lumps in it. Now you can see it's not totally smooth, you can see bit pieces of caustic acid um but that's okay that's really okay because i thought it's not okay at first and you have to melt it at some degrees over the stove and stuff but it didn't matter so i've been using it for like two weeks and i've seen real effects on my skin it's very much okay if it's not totally smooth the kojic acid you just have to mix a kojic acid in aloe vera or your toner or um, rose water anything okay so the quantity is clear if you're using rose water just use eight scoops in instead of four so if you're using something thick like lotion uh, you should really use four scoops and enough okay? and a pinch of kaushik acid so earlier the mistake i was making it i used to put a lot in the hope that you know my skin will glow and stuff but that's not okay if you're going to use a lot you're going to end up with a lot of acne and pimples on your face so what you have to do is use just this much for your whole skin so i prefer mixing it in aloe vera gel only because it's so aloe vera gel is super spreadable on your face so even if you're using this much it will spread like anything and it will be enough for your whole skin so please do not use excess on your skin thinking that it will work faster it won't it will just leave you with bad skin in the end so you just have to use this much on your full face also you can see i've made like this much because kojic acid will stop working if you're going to store it like that for a long time so what you have to do is please use an airtight container also don't make a lot of quantity at once as i said just just go with four scoops or eight scoops do not make a lot of it because uh, sometimes what happens what happens is ingredients stop working if you're storing them and opening the jar every day air goes in and so it oxidizes really quickly the effect gets low so do not make a lot of it at once make small quantities and use it i just made it for like one two months and then i'm gonna make it again also like some people say that skin acids are basically uh, steroids for your skin and you should not use skin acids hyaluronic acid kojic acid azelic acid all these acids are not um 
good for your skin so keeping that in mind all you need to do is discontinue its use after six months although you will achieve your desired skin in about two months only but if you're still using it for like six months discontinue its use after six months so that your skin doesn't get used to it you can continue it again after two three months and stuff so do not use it for a long period of time six months is max in a way you feel that okay my skin is at the best i don't think so it can improve anymore so yeah also please please put a very little amount on your face also before doing any of these things do a patch test or a spot test so a patch test is you take your lotion patch test either on your hand or on your neck or behind your ear okay so and leave it for like 8 9 hours and if you and if you don't get any redness if your skin is okay it's not itching it's not having any pimples on your hand your neck your behind the ear so then you then only you should use it if you are having any side effects on the patch test it means it's not suiting your skin please please do a spot test before using any product be it a skin acid or anything also please do not get scared by the word acid it is a skin acid it is specifically made for skin do not freak out by the word acid it's totally safe so yeah it's natural it's paraben free i hope you can say it's natural paraben free cruelty free and everything so i don't think so there's any harm in using it you can try it it's a must try it's used in soaps serums face creams and lotion but i really don't trust companies anymore because i don't know what they're selling nothing works on my skin so i thought i'll just work with raw kojic acid powder okay so let's recall the precautions once again use a very little amount do not use it for more than six months and third is please do a spot test or a patch test whatever you call it okay so this was it please subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram if you really found this video informative i keep updating my followers on instagram so please uh, follow me on instagram and this is it see you in my next video till then bye bye subscribe to my channel